What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good morning, hope you're all doing great of course. Uh, uh, well, at least relatively great compared to uh, what's happening to Solana right now. Because in this video, um, we will cover Solana again. We'll take a look at, uh, we'll, we'll talk about the fundamentals. Uh, because today we actually have the opportunity uh, to get some sort of a rally. There are some fundamentals that, that could cause that. Uh, so we're talking about that. On the other hand, it could also cause a crash, I must say. Um, and we'll talk about Solana in, in general, like uh, the, the main questions are, is, is are we recovering a little bit? Have we found our lost support or are we going to drop down even lower? Um, so that's what we'll cover. Uh, I already covered this uh, one video ago, uh, but I forgot to record my voice. And right now, am I recording my voice? Yes, it does seem like it. Um, so yeah, that's a pretty, uh, th this video will be a li little bit shorter. But what you can see from Solana is that <clears throat> after the video I made yesterday, uh, we broke through $18, uh, dropped down even lower. I mean, we found some support at $16 and $15. Technically, that, that's a support level. Um, but um, in, in the end, I mean, yesterday evening, I think it was, is when we heard that um, that uh, Binance would not acquire FTX, uh, which, which was, uh, well, not necessarily that shocking, but it was for the markets. Uh, so we dropped down even lower and for Solana specifically we're, we're holding right now between like 12.5 and 11.5 dollars as a support it's 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 a strong support level like historically but it's uh, I mean if that breaks we'll drop down all the way to eight dollars and like between 9.5 and 7.5 so there's there's quite a lot at stake here um, the main thing obvious or not obviously but if, if you don't know the main reason why Solana dropped is because uh, Alameda Research a sister venture capital of, uh, of or a sister company of FTX was one of the first investors in, in Solana so they held a lot of SOL tokens they had liquidity issues <clears throat> so they had to so sell their SOL tokens uh, together with that obviously also panic and fear was this because this was not all Alameda Research it's, it's also retailers all right but um, yeah, it's, it, that, that, that was part of it. Um, so if we, I mean, right now it does look like Solana is stabilizing. We've found at least some of the most sustainable support since like, uh, like, like Monday or since Tuesday. Uh, right now, the main thing that's, uh, I think will stay between like a $16 and $12, $12 for today, uh, or at least until we get the fundamentals, because that's what I wanted to talk about. Uh, later today, we're going to have the inflation rate numbers. Uh, yes, again, coming out for the US, those make the market move a lot, uh, always. Um, so what's basically going to happen with the inflation rate is, uh, well, it's going to be higher than expected, or it's going to be lower than expected. If it's higher than expected, th th there's a good way of knowing what that will mean for the crypto markets. If, if you have higher inflation rate, uh, that's bad for you, because um, things will get pricier. Um, if I if, if you, you get a lower inflation rate, that's good because uh, well uh, at least you, uh, you it, it, your money becomes uh, worth less a little bit less. Uh, so yeah, a higher inflation rate for Solana would be pretty disastrous, right? Because then um, I do not have the guarantee that 11.5 would hold. Uh, we could actually drop down all the way to this like $10, 9.5 level. I don't think we'll drop down to 7.5, but we would drop down there. And then we all have to see again if we can actually break above 12.5, which probably no. Um, so if it's actually higher than expected, that's, that's pretty bad for Solana, all right? Uh, personally, I wouldn't sell it, but um, it's, uh, yeah, it, 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 that could be pretty bad. Just another layer of bearish fundamentals. On the other hand though, if it's actually lower than expected, I think we will definitely break above $16 and I think we'll even have a chance to break above uh, like this $18. I think we'll like a spike up to $20 and then drop down again. And then from there consolidate and then it will move accordingly to the FTX drama again. But to, to end this video, you must know that uh, even though Alameda Research held a lot of soul, at some point it's gone. All right. So then it has no more real uh, direct link with the whole FTX drama, which uh, is 100% bullish of, of Solana. And at some point, it could be after dropping down to like $8, at some point we are going to rally again, because we must not forget uh, the fundamentals, the, the bullish fundamentals we had with Solana before this all started. Um, so yeah, that's my take on Solana this morning, second time. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments, but for now, take care and bye.